What is going on YouTube? So I actually noticed it's been a year almost exactly since I've made any type of update or walk around video of my Jeep. And I've really been posting more about my Shelby and some of my other Mustangs, especially in the past year. So I just want to inform you guys, I still have the Jeep. This is Rattle Trap. And uh, I haven't really done much to it since the last video I actually made of it. Um, Matter of fact, I, I did make a more recent video, but it wasn't really about the Jeep itself. It was more about a, uh, a uh, ceramic coating product called Cerakote. As you can see, it's been two months since I've applied that stuff on the fender flares, and they're still really glossy. And this Jeep sits out in the sun, so uh, it's hands down probably the best thing I've ever used on trim because I've used Meguiar's back to black. That stuff looks good for a couple days, and then honestly it fades right back. Uh, just to put it in perspective, these flares used to be like a chalky gray. Uh, it just looked really bad. And I also done the mirrors too. They were pretty bad as well. Um, I can actually probably go back over top of the flares again with a second coat. It'd probably really help them out, especially the mirrors. But uh, other than that, that's really all I've done to it as far as cosmetic wise. Um, I've had to do a lot of maintenance stuff to it. Uh, actually, recently, I had a, a catalytic converter installed on it, so the Jeep's quiet, too quiet. It has a, a Flowmaster, I think, 40 series. It's just a regular 40 series, not the Super 40, and uh, it's just way too quiet now. Uh, I kind of missed the way it sounded when it was catless with the uh, Flowmaster 40, so I'm thinking of maybe doing a, a muffler delete and uh, keep the cat on it because... Uh, the Jeep was starting to smell kind of raw. The exhaust is really rich smelling and it's getting in the cab and stuff. And uh, putting a catalytic converter back on it really helped it out. Might have lost some power, but in the long run, my clothes no longer smell like exhaust or fuel. So overall, I'm, you know, it's a win-win for me, as a, especially with the doors and top off. That smell can get really bad. Uh, the whole front end, it has new ball joints upper and lower uh, tie rod ends. Uh, the uh, ball joints went bad and they, uh, they caused this tire right here to cup. Well, not this one, I've actually rotated the tires. But this tire right here has a really bad cupping. I don't know if you can really tell, but uh, the tread they, right here, you can tell big time. Like this, uh, this knob right here, is uh, worn down a lot more than this one and especially right there you can see that uh, those ball joints cause that tire to really uh, wear bad but got the ball joints tie rod ends and everything put in it rotated the tires and it has a fresh alignment so uh, shouldn't have any more issues with the uh, suspension for a while uh, I did do some minor things to the engine. Uh, I have uh, the Bosch four port injectors in it, I believe is what they call them. Uh, the Jeep runs a lot better now, it idles a lot better. Simple stuff like an oil catch can. And I recently replaced the, uh, the blower motor for the heater because it went out and it went out dead of winter. So that was perfect timing. Froze my butt off trying to get it put in. Well, me and a buddy put it in. But, uh, yeah, uh, I guess I can go ahead and pop the hood. It's actually the worst looking part of this Jeep is the engine bay. It's kind of embarrassing to be honest with you. So here's the engine bay. Like I said, it's ugly, it's hideous, but it works. I need to get a, uh, cover for this fuse box. That's just, uh water entry waiting to happen right there. Blow some fuses. Have the Ultima yellow top. And the last couple years I've actually replaced the alternator, distributor, the wire, spark plugs, everything like that. Valve cover gasket. Matter of fact, this Jeep has 252,000 miles on it. And if you take the valve cover off, the valve train looks immaculate. It's just really nice, golden looking. Uh, I really have to give credit to the previous owners because they really kept up on the maintenance and of course I have too, this Jeep, I usually change the oil about every 3,000 to 5,000 miles. 
I use a uh, Castro High Mileage. It's the best oil I found for this thing. It really helps the lifter tick. It doesn't eliminate it at all, by no means, but it really helps squatting it down. But it's just a uh, you know Jeep 4.0 thing. Even the 2.5s do it. They're real notorious for any type of lifter noise. Um, I've upgraded the uh, master cylinder because this Jeep does have an 8.8 .8 rear end, so uh, master and brake cylinder uh, have all been replaced. That's basically it. Jeep has a uh, aftermarket header on it, and there's the old catch can, just some cheap Amazon catch can. Uh, this radiator is cracked, and that's a big glob of a radiator patch, and it's actually held up, so really there's no point in trying to replace that saves money and it works you know it's a it's a jeep they're not supposed to be well this one isn't a show jeep by no means i actually use this thing but uh that's a giant monkey fist down there that my buddy made me and that's actually a, a ball bearing a steel ball bearing out there thing weighs a lot I'm jerry can i need to find a uh a latch or a strap or something to hold this down because I don't really trust a bungee cord. They're known to dry rot and deteriorate and break apart and I don't want that thing. It's actually full of gas right now. I don't want it to fall and bust. Uh, this Jeep did have some side steps on it. They rusted out. I removed them. I'm trying to find some really nice rock sliders for a good price. Might go with the uh, E-Auto grills rock sliders I do have the front bumper so I've had no issues with the quality of it it's actually been pretty good but uh, as you can see I don't know why I wanted to go flat black with the bumper the paints are already chipping off right here that's the original finish right there as you can see it looks a lot better than this I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, repaint this it's just flaking off everywhere it's looking really bad it looks pretty trashy it just kind of you know right here you can tell big time yeah with the hood down you can kind of see it detracts from the overall appearance of the jeep it looks really bad i should have just left it alone but once i get that painted with the uh, cerakoted fender flares and the rock sliders and stuff i think this jeep would really look good um, I'm also thinking of getting some tube doors. The Auto Grills actually makes a set that uh, have this uh, cargo netting style. And I have cargo nets on the side and rear windows. So I think that would really look pretty cool. Kind of like a, a military style vibe to it. And uh, like I said, muffler delete, tube doors, rock sliders, repaint the front bumper. The rear end right now looks pretty good. And yeah, I know a lot of people are probably looking at this, thinking how ugly this is. Yeah, I know it's hideous, but it has rubber gloves in it just in case I need to use this jerry can and not make a mess on myself. Let's see. And the wheels, actually, I want to get rid of the wheels too. I can't stand these. They're actually uh, discontinued. I can't even find these anymore. And uh, because originally I did try looking for a fifth spare, a matching spare, and you can't even find these. I've, they're called Ultra Wheels, and I've looked on their website. I've looked everywhere online and can't find them. So I was thinking of maybe going with like these uh, fake beadlock ion alloy uh, 174s, I believe. They're like a, uh, if you've ever seen a Mickey Thompson bullet hole wheel, it's exactly what they look like. The uh, the face of them is actually a flat black, or no, it's a, it's a glossy black. And the uh, the bead, the fake bead lock is like a polished lip, and the center caps are polished too. So overall, I think they look pretty good. I think they'd look really good on this Jeep since they're actually kind of what I based the paint job on these wheels off of. You know, I left the uh, outside ring chrome and the center cap chrome. These are actually chrome wheels. And once I polish them up, they they really do shine, but this Jeep had all kinds of chrome on it when I got it, and I deleted just about every bit of it. The front grille inserts were chrome. The headlight bezels were chrome. These are still chrome. Hood latches. 
but uh, I'm not really too concerned about them because they don't look bad. I'm looking for a hard top, so if anyone has a hard top for sale, holler at me. Is uh, I'm looking to buy one. I really want another one. I've had two of them, and I buy them and sell them because I put the soft top on during the summertime, and then the hard top. It's not really in my way. I just don't like seeing it taking up space, and I get rid of it, which is stupid on my part. But as you can tell, the soft top. Uh, this is actually a soft topper. It's been through the ringer. I can actually buff most most of that out, but as you can tell, it's just uh. It's been through hell and back. Let's go ahead and check out and see what the mileage is exactly on this thing. Two hundred and fifty two thousand miles, seven hundred and ninety three. Good God. That's a lot of miles. This is the interior. It hasn't changed much. I need to fix that. The door handle broke. It's a it's a metal tab that inside right there broke off. But uh, and pretty much that's basically it. This thing since that last video that walk around I done last year, or almost a year ago exactly. Uh, you know, I just replaced all the front end parts. Cerakote of the fender flares. Oh, funny story. I was having some really bad driveline vibrations with my buddy. We were out riding around. He has a TJ and we took the, uh, the tops off, you know, just cruising around, enjoying the weather. And I kept getting this really bad driveline vibration in fourth and fifth gear. It was really bad. And I started hearing a weird rattling sound. And turns out the pinion nut up in here from the slip yoke actually came off the transfer case side and was trapped inside the uh, the U-joint. And it was just bouncing around in there. And somehow this drive shaft did not flop out because when we got underneath and looked, this whole side right here had actually slid almost all the way out. You can see the splines. And when I got it back home, we actually grabbed it and pushed it back a little bit and it just flopped down. So they got extremely lucky right there. Uh, I got a hitchhiker right here. But yeah, put some Loctite on that and torqued it back down to its actual spec. I don't know what happened. I don't know if I didn't torque it down I done the SYE kit or what, but it's fixed now. And with that fixed, the drive line vibration is completely gone. And with the front end parts, it drives really good now. I have no complaints with it. I mean, this has been a really good Jeep. It's basic maintenance is all it's really needed. And plus I need to clean it up. It's kind of dirty right now. I'm gonna give this thing a good wash and wax. I might ceramic coat it. It really does look pretty good. But yeah, that's an update on the old rattle trap. Thanks for watching.